Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through AJAX communication technique. So what are the files that it will be using? What are the methods it will be using? And we'll be discussing about them guys. Okay, so AJAX, as I described earlier, AJAX is not a technology, but a group of interrelated technologies guys. So basically AJAX is a combination of few technologies which we learned till now. So it consists of HTML or XHTML, CSS, DOME, that is nothing but document object model which we discussed. XML, JSON and XML HTTP request. Please remember this guys because we will be discussing this in our next lecture. JavaScript. So these are the things that we will be using. So HTML, JavaScript for the display of the content and styling of the website. So DOM is nothing but for dynamic actions on the website. Similarly, XML and JSON. So few of you might be having familiar with XML, right? But few might not be having any idea about JSON. Okay. So I'll, I wrote a small example guys, just to give me a second, I'll be, okay, here I wrote, okay, okay. So again, we'll be discussing about this XML and JSON also, don't worry. So basically XML normally, how we'll be writing guys, you'll be writing in between tags, right? If you remember, user defined tags will be written. So basically in J, in JSON, we'll be writing in this way, JSON, that is nothing but Java script object notation guys. Okay. So you'll be writing in this way. So, okay guys, I'll be explaining you with the example only that will be clear. So in the next lectures, we'll be going through it. Don't worry. Okay. So for now, just assume that XML and JSON are used for carrying data. Okay. So these are really fast when compared to any other data transfer mechanisms. Okay. So after that, let us go through XML, HTML, sorry, XML, HTTP request. Guys, we'll be discussing this about, about this clearly in the next lecture, guys, like what are the steps and everything. So for asynchronous request be between the client and server, we'll be using this guys and JavaScript. I hope everyone remembers now JavaScript. Basically it is used for front end and to do some dynamic operations. Okay. Okay. So I hope I gave just an introduction about all the things that Ajax consists of guys, like all the technologies we will be using. So in the next lecture, we'll be going in depth dive with XHT XML HTTP request object. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.